So today I'm going to clean the black tank out. It shouldn't have too much stuff in it, but um, I need to find the water pressure regulator first because it says that that's, that's needed. Do not connect without pressure regulator. And my friends are super awesome. I made an RV wish list with like things that I needed and uh, they got most of them for me. And in the boxes somewhere is the pressure regulator. So I'm gonna have to go through all the things that were gotten for me and um, find it. I'm gonna find somewhere to set up where I can go through this stuff and I don't feel like I'm being bombarded by the sun which as you can tell by my hat, I'm not a big fan. I also do not like the way the batteries smell. They make me uncomfortable and nervous, so I like to stay away from those. And I'm not opening all these to be like braggity. I'm doing it because I thought it might be interesting for people to see what kind of stuff I thought would be important to have in an RV before I've even lived in one. Also, not on the same topic, but mouse poops like little tiny desert mouse poops all over they were not here when i visited the rv before i found a couple of nests and yeah my wish list has more stuff on it now because of the mice that's you know i'm not sure they're here anymore because it's been like moved and i read that that will often like cause the the mice to scatter but i've got like plans I'm gonna it's already sealed up but i'm gonna do some more sealing using like steel wool and stuff and then I'm gonna use some deterrent that's some people say it works some people say it doesn't it doesn't hurt and it smells nice I just realized that I forgot my knife in the car so I gotta go get that and then I also realized that this isn't going on TikTok so I can say knife and I can show knife look I'm all red because that's what happens when I get warm so don't worry the, uh, the address that's on here is a public address. It's You don't need to be like, Lee, we can see your address. I know. If you want to send me postcards, I like those. That's why I have a public address. I'll use my handy dandy little knife. This is uh, caulking for the interior because I'm going to like remove caulking, re-caulk. There's a lot of areas that are not caulked in that one that, uh, from what I read, are normal to caulk in newer ones. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to caulk, man. It's from my mom. I don't know. Okay. So there's a fire fire extinguisher. Uh, the RV has one, but I want to have a second one that's going to be in the bedroom area. So there's a fire extinguisher and some damp rid to help with the uh, moisture issues. This is not, this, so I have an instant pot. It's a very, it's a big one. It's very demanding on the power, like the initial kick up or kick in, kick on. And uh, this is, this is uh, friendlier for the solar and the inverter and stuff. And this is, this is from a stranger, like somebody who saw my stuff through somebody on Twitter, like not even someone I know. So thank you, Bonnie. Feels. Oh. Um, solder seal. Wire connectors so that I can be lazy if I ever need to solder a connection. I don't have to 
I don't have to, I can just do this. And there's more, more caulking in here. Actually, the first caulking you saw is for the exterior. The caulking in here is um, for the interior. This, I, I asked for four of each, so that's more, more caulking. This is um, a propane tank um, gauge so that I'll know when they're getting low because the seller, uh, there used to be an automatic switch between the two tanks and she removed that because she kept running out completely and it was easier for her to just run out on one and then manually switch it. So I would like a little more detail and a little more heads up. So I got gauges. This is a water filter to catch sediment. Uh, it'll go between the, the, the faucet and the drinking water hose. This area is uh, high calcium, so I don't really want that in the RV pipe. I think this is the regulator I was looking for. water pressure valve. I know I could do this later, but like I won't do it later. I have to, I have to do it now. Uh, this is the other propane uh, tank gauge, so I needed two because I have two. And then uh, drinking water hose. Ah, a hose elbow to come off of the, um, so that the, the hose is at a better angle. More caulking. I got one more box to open, but I want to see. So I will have to look and find out what pressure it should be set at for the RV because I looked that up and I forgot and I can't remember now. So. That's what forgot means. I just repeated myself. <laughs> this is, is from Ruby Castillo. And I don't, so somebody said that they, they put puns with theirs. Is that the pun or is that the per, a person? It's not a person I personally know. I, ha, I know I have more stuff coming because I had multiple, I, I wanted a backup pose and, um, and stuff. There's the back of pose. Yeah. So there's still coming is a box of fuses. The, uh, the fuses for the DC system. And then maybe the AC system too. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just the DC. And then the solar has its own different kind of fuses I need to get. I need to get those. I just need to look up what kind they are.
So, uh, in terms of like RV stuff, how do you think I did? There's, there's more, but I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll go like put like the full list at the end of this so you can see like what kind of stuff. Okay, so here is my list, uh, the things that haven't shown up yet. Um, there's a surge protector, power backup, um, just because I'm going to be on solar and stuff, I'll have like my electronics hooked to that so that I can shut them down if I have an outage or, or whatever. Um, yeah, there's like the standard fuse kit. There are two different types of damp rid. I think this is the one I got and this is the one I'm waiting for. Um, portable chargers, just again for power. Uh, hose clamp set. I, I almost kind of feel like I could have used that today with everything that went on. Um, seal connector, there's like that. This I, I got myself. I didn't expect anybody to spend that on me. Um, I have a washer but it doesn't fit in there. It's too big. And uh, these are things I added recently. It's just for the, the mice issue. Um, a flat coax because I'm going to just put it through the slide out frame um, so that I don't have to put a hole in the RV. And then uh, this is like a UV protection so that I can go up on the roof like twice a year and spray the the plastic, all the new plastic stuff that's up there from getting the roof done just to help like make it last a little longer. Um, and then like grease for the, for the jacks and stuff. I know I could use like Vaseline but I'd like to use something that's made for that and works a little better. So yeah, these are all of the things that I like, was like, I think these are all things that I should have. Um, there are other things that are not on the list that I already have, like gloves, and I have copious amounts of tools because I used to do all my own work on my vehicles and stuff. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's going to be like, as I move in, there'll be like more things that I'll be like, oh, I need this or I need that. But like, I feel like I had a pretty solid like starting list.